It's hot outside. It's because you're not wearing the right clothes. Well, I don't want my legs to get all cut up and everything. Yeah, but it's hot. That's true. And this leads us to our next point. What clothing you should wear in the summertime for rock climbing. It really is important to stay protected, whether it be from the rock or for the elements. Or the bugs. Or the bugs. But there's kind of a balance you have to find in the summertime. And one of those most important pieces, which I just talked about, pants versus shorts. What do you choose? (laughs) You're team shorts. I'm team pants. I'm pants all the way. I like my legs to be protected. I get hot. I get sweaty. And if I'm wearing pants, then it's like leg jail. It's fair enough. I think you just have to get used to like the pants and the sweatiness in the legs. I mean, that doesn't sound desirable. It's not, but you just kind of have to. (laughs) You just get used to it. And then you're like, okay, like, if you look at what can happen if you don't wear pants, like how often your shins can get bruised or cut up or anything. That happens when I wear pants too, though, sometimes. Well, not all pants are created equally. <laughs> but it's a good kind of argument to have. And definitely, like, if we're talking pants, I'm not talking, like, I'm not talking Carhartt pants, something that's super heavy. Like, all the pants that I wear in the summertime are generally lightweight and breathable. I think my Arcteryx pants are like the heaviest pair of pants that I have that are like technical pants. I don't even touch those in the summertime because it gets too hot. Okay. Like I'm wearing the Outdoor Research Ferrosi pants. They're breathable enough, but I still get warm in them. Yeah. I mean, like I've worn my Patagonia Kaliza Rock pants and they were a little hot. <laughs> A little bit. And we were in the shade. We were in the shade. And I was like, sweat stains everywhere. It was, and it wasn't even that hard of a climb was the thing. And I was just like, (laughs) even just on the approach, I was like, my legs feel so damp and sticky and I just wanted to take them off. Yeah. And so like. That was pretty rough. It was. And even my like hiking pants or lightweight pants, I just hate it. The only ones I could maybe do are leggings, but at the same time, the protection level pretty much like you're not wearing any yeah so i might as well just go shorts and let them let them legs breathe and i think that's like a good thing that is nice about shorts is you get more airflow for that matter but i think the only thing i just don't like is one all the elements are exposed to your legs yeah and when we're talking to all elements we're talking all like i'm even considering bugs as an element because in certain times they're really bad oh my god yes so when you have all of that and like for approaches if you're on like a trail that's not really a trail it's kind of nice to have a little bit of leg protection just a little bit so then you're not scraping everything or like you're just not running into things but i think the big thing i look at is just for sharp rocks i think yeah. i went dry tooling with a pair of shorts and i was like one of the first times i've done that And I think the whole time I was dry chilling, I was like, oh, my God, (laughs) like, do not just rip your shin up or do not stab yourself in the calf of the crampon. (laughs) Like, ooh, okay. But at the same time, if it's sharp enough, it's probably going to get through pants, too. Depends. I feel like pants just offer a little bit more protection. I feel like when I have pants on, even when I'm rock climbing, I kind of just like throw my body to the wind and I don't like I don't even notice like if I'm like grazing my shin on something but when I'm wearing shorts I think I'm just a little bit more aware of what's going on I'll give you that that's definitely true I am more aware of like when I do hit myself unless I'm like super focused but if it's just like in passing on an easy move and I like scrape my shin I'm like ow yeah. I might not notice that if I was wearing pants yeah I just I don't know there's something about pants but they definitely you definitely have to find the right pant because if you don't have the right pant, it can feel like, like you said, like your legs are trapped. And mm-hmm. it's just like, it's very like claustrophobic in a way. Yes. And it's just like the uncontrollable sweat. And it's just like, it's bad. Because it even be bad. right now, my thighs are sweating, but at least there's a little breeze. <laughs> <laughs> Do you am I? <laughs> <laughs> sweat's normal. Yeah, it sweat's normal. Your body's just cooling yourself down. But at the same time, that kind of like is a nice transition to some materials show sweat stains but even with that being said some materials are better to have in the heat of summer than others Mm-hmm. cotton t-shirts not that great no bueno cotton pants not that great no 
Synthetics are generally pretty good because at least with synthetics they can wick. The only kind of problem you have with synthetics is <laughs> they tend to stink after a while. Yeah, that's a very good point. And I think like another option, I don't even know if there's another option. It's kind of just synthetics or... Or a, a natural fiber blend. Like yeah. even with this shirt and that shirt, it's merino and a synthetic. So yeah. Merino is generally good for moisture wicking, mm-hmm. but Maybe a bit of odor control too. It definitely still absorbs a little bit of water. Like mm-hmm. that's I know an argument like with like polyester. Like polyester doesn't really absorb anything. Nylon absorbs a little bit, and then merino because it's still a natural fiber absorbs more, but not as much as like cotton. God yeah. will pretty much absorb everything. It'll be heavy. And you just got this damp rag on you. <laughs> Which feels so great when you're climbing. Oh, so great. It's hot as well. Yeah. It's really? not great. No. I know that, like, when I'm climbing, I'll either wear, like, a tank top in the summer. Like, I'll either wear a tank top, a sports bra, or if there's a lot of bugs, or if we're going to be on, like, a South Face Mall direct sunlight, a sun hoodie is yeah. so nice. Because it protects you from the bugs. I can, like, just put my hood up over my helmet and, like, be in my own little world and not have to worry about, like, a beetle flying at my head or 20 of them. Yeah. (laughs) And then I also burn really easy. And so it's nice to have coverage, not really have to worry about that. I do look like a ghost after, but it's fine. (laughs) It's worth it. I mean, just to know that you have a piece of clothing that can protect you from the sun. I mean, that's really important. I mean, you don't want to get toasted. Yeah, even just something with UPF. Yeah, anything, which that's always nice with sun hoodies, is that they generally all have that. I mean, I know that they they make even more climate-specific ones where the hoods fit over helmets, which is always nice. It's not kind of awkward. There's no random pull. But, like, sun hoodies are just always a g- great idea. I love them because most sun ho- hoodies are made out of, like, a wicking material, so mm-hmm. you're not going to get too hot in them, even though they're a long sleeve and a hood. Yeah. So that's always nice. But then there's just, like, extra coverage. Again, kind of going on the same, like, pants mentality. Like, you don't scrape your elbow as much. You don't scrape your forearm. I mean, I do always end up pushing them to my elbow. Yeah. No matter what long sleeve shirt I have on, I do that, just because I feel like I don't have full full power. It's like tarps off, but just for forearms. <laughs> to each their own yeah i don't know i have more tan forearms because of it a really beautiful apple watch tan yeah yeah always get that not me i just i live in sun hoodies all the time so (laughs) no tan lines and if you are in the more like i was gonna say sports bra for dudes just tarps off um making sure that you're wearing sunscreen is really important as well because the sun, it can do some damage. Maybe not right now, but long term. Yeah. Bad things. <laughs> Very bad things. Very bad things. And like most clothing, if I mean, that's the whole thing is if you take a shirt off and you're just going exposed skin, definitely put on sunscreen. But most all technical shirts these days are all UPF. Yeah. So, I mean, at least you have some sort of protection. And if not, if you're wearing a short sleeve, just put some sunscreen on, just for that little extra protection. Yeah. Or bug spray as well. A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Bug spray doesn't hurt, especially in wooded areas like this. Yeah. I'm mean, like, I can feel bugs flying everywhere. <laughs> yeah. This is fun. It's great. Summer's it's great. great. It's so fun. Another thing is definitely still wearing a helmet when you're climbing in the summer. Yeah, it's hot. And then, yeah, a helmet might get sweaty or make you feel like you're a little bit warmer. But it's really important it's still a good idea you want to protect your noggin yeah it's kind of valuable and if it gets busted up you can't really climb a whole lot more (laughs) yeah yeah both blaine and also it's very important to wear it for both yeah and i know like the stigma is like it's hot outside not a lot of rock climbers wear helmets but it's still a good idea yeah and like it's your personal choice but at the same time it's not it's kind of squishy and soft up there. Yeah, and as someone who's had many concussions, um, it's not fun. No. <laughs> really isn't. And so definitely a really good idea to protect your head. You only get one. <laughs> yeah. And, like, there's definitely more breathable options for helmets out there on the market. Like, you definitely have your helmets that are just solid plastic and they don't breathe. So those kind of not great. But, like, options like the Sirocco or the Black Diamond Vision have tons of vents and your head doesn't get too warm while wearing them also getting a lighter co- colored helmet too if you get a darker colored helmet mm. it's going to be hot if you get a lighter colored one 
it shouldn't be as bad. All in all, there's just a few things that you should probably take into consideration when kind of choosing the clothing for summertime climbing, whether it be from pants or shorts, kind of debating which one's right for you. Do you want protection or do you want breathability? And even something like materials you're wearing, whether it be synthetic or a natural fiber, like everything has a pro and a con. You just kind of had to have to wait out for yourself. Like even between us, like I'm very much more long sleeve, sun hoodie and pants in the summertime. And you're very much short sleeve and more breathable options. Mm -hmm. But those are just kind of personal choices. And, you know, we still both enjoy climbing in the summertime, but uh, definitely one of us is cooler than the other. <laughs> yeah, in two ways. <laughs>